In this video we're going to remove the raw water pump from the Perkins 4108. Uh, this pump has been leaking. You can see the signs of corrosion here outside of this little weep hole. Um, and a rebuild unfortunately hasn't seemed to fix it um, because the shaft is too worn. So we've decided we're going to uh, replace the pump altogether. So to do that we're going to remove um, the, the pump from the timing case cover um, without removing this adapter plate. That's the important thing. This adapter plate needs to stay on the timing case. We're just going to remove the plate um, of, from the pump itself. So we've got our pump uh, which arrived from parts for engines. It's genuine part. It took about 10 days from New England to Australia. We've got our hose tails. They're one inch brass hose tails. Um, we're going to use a little bit of gasket um, sealer because it is quite pitted around here um, where the adapter plate has um, corroded over time. Um, and of course we've got our manuals, our Perkins 4108 manual, um, which talks us quite simply through the removal and reinstallation of the pump. The manual also gives us an exploded view here of the pump itself. Um, which was used for rebuilding. So the first step is to uncouple the connections. Um, they're just simple hose clamps. When we put them back on, we're going to make sure that we use uh, double hose clamps because we've definitely got enough room on the new hose tails. And so we'll remove those and um, then our pump's gonna be ready for removal from that adapter plate. Of course, before you do this, you wanna make sure that You've got your um, seacock closed, the, the water intake, because we don't want water rushing in here. There's bound to be a little bit of water left over um, when, we're, when we get these off anyway. But you definitely don't want your water rushing everywhere when we undo them. So there's one off. And two off. So the pump... Um, has now been decoupled we'll keep the hose clamps and we'll just tweak them up so they don't disappear down into the bilge and then the pump's going to be ready to be uncoupled from these four bolts these four nuts here um, that will allow us to take it off the adapter plate so just loosening off the last of these four nuts that are going to allow us to remove the water pump from the timing case cover. Like all these things on a boat engine, they're a bit of a prick to get to, um, but just a bit of careful patience seems to most often do the trick. I think it's always worth isolating your battery. I've had a few wires of unknown origin in here and I don't like the idea of creating a short by putting a spanner between them. Um, so I always make sure that I've got the engine isolated while I'm working on things in here. Okay, I've just um, been tapping gently away at this raw water pump, just gently tapping away with the rubber hammer and it also got a tiny little chisel tip in um, at the top of the plate and off she comes. So there's the key that drives it. Um, the raw water pump is driven at half engine speed from the fuel pump gear. So this is the key that does that driving uh, and that slots in to the new one into that keyhole. Okay, we've got a perfect fit. That's just a loose fit to just make sure that it's going to go on. I lined up the um, lined up the keyhole here with that key, and the four studs that are going to um, hold her in position. And she's quite a tidy fit. Now the um, the manual is quite explicit that you shouldn't remove this adapter plate if you absolutely don't have to and that if you do remove it you need to get the timing tool so that you get the keys lined up properly 
um, so that you don't tear them apart when, when um, you start running the pump. Just put a little bit of thread tape on the threads of these hose tails, um, get them hand tight, and then I'm just going to give them a bit of a tweak up with um, the shifter. So we've decided we're going to um, fit these hoses because of the limited space here. Um, we won't be able to get them on terribly well because these hose tails are a little bit longer than the previous ones. So we're going to fit them first and then we're going to slot the um, pump into position. Okay, we've um, got a fairly inelegant bead of silicon going on around here, um, but it'll do the job, so we're going to slot our pump in, which is fitted in nicely. Um, and now we'll put our nuts on. You allow, you tighten them um, fairly tight. They allow it an hour and then tweak it up by another half turn. All right, well, here she is. New pump installed. Uh, you can see that gasket goo, and the grey stuff um, beaded up around the uh, adapter plate. So we're just going to wait an hour. That's Those nuts are hand tight. Uh, then we'll crank them in a little bit more. Uh, 24 hours drying time. Then we'll tweak up all of our hose clamps. Just make sure they're all sweet. Um, we'll pop this plate off and just lubricate the uh, impeller before we give her a run. Ripless, working nicely. Right. It's good to see. And out the back, she's pumping plenty of water. That's um, a beautiful thing. And now, all that's left to do is go sailing. <laughs>